let's now move on to some key phrase structures and their uses in in english language as we have already talked that phrase structures uh, are are common in syntax and they are very important to understand the structure of a sentence a uh, phrases could be defined as as a word or a group of words uh, they are actually lexical categories uh, which are there and the most common forms of phrases in english english language as i mentioned previously are noun phrase verb phrase prep, prepositional phrase uh, adverb or adjective phrases let's have uh, have a look at some key features of these phrases and start with a noun phrase noun phrase is a phrase uh, when in which the head word is a noun for example uh, a beautiful house a man in black suit you could see man is is a key word is a head word in this phrase so uh, this could be seen as a noun phrase uh, a noun phrase could be a word uh, or a group of word in which noun uh, is the key word as i as i've just mentioned it could be a, a noun a proper noun or or a pronoun for example people like to uh, have money people is is basically noun which makes a uh, a noun phrase there and then it is getting late it is a pronoun which is used for the same function noun phrases could also come as a determiner and a noun uh, in the examples like our friends have bought a house in the village it can also come with an adjective and a determiner our closest friends have just bought a new house a new house in the village so these examples show uh, there's that a noun phrase could come with an adjective and a determiner uh, they can also have a post modifier and you could see the example both of my younger brothers are married so these are some various formations of a noun phrase a typical a uh, typical structure of a noun phrase could possibly be which is a bit lengthy one it may include determiner then adjective noun adjective or prepositional phrase some of the common uses of uh, a noun phrase include it could be used as subject object uh, complement or adverbial in a sentence for example in the example he is a teacher Uh, a noun phrase is being used as as a complement then he is he is a teacher he the initial he is also being used as as a subject then he made me a cup of tea uh, a cup of tea is a noun phrase which is being used as an object in these examples let's move to verb phrase now verb phrase as a uh, name itself shows is a phrase where the head verb a head word is a verb for example he has been eating eats uh, ate is eating etc all these examples give a, give us a clue about verb phrases uh, and it consists of a main verb or uh, sometimes some auxiliary or modal verbs as well the main verbs always come last in in verb phrase for example uh, we all laugh uh laughed is the main verb and it has come at the end of the sentence the computer scan uh, be very annoying in this example you could see can is a modal verb which is coming in the middle of the sentence and before the main verb which is annoying use uh, one of the uh, few of the common uses of uh, verb phrases are uh, that they are used as a verb in 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 a sentence or uh, they could be an imp important part of the predicate in a sentence prepositional phrase is another important phrase which is a combination usually a combination of a preposition uh, a grammatical category and a noun phrase you could see examples in the room at the party for me its typical structure as i mentioned Uh, that both preposition and a noun phrase are essential are compulsory to make a prepositional phrase and uh, 
a simple preposition cannot stand alone uh, because it has to be coupled with a noun phrase. Uh, this is a very unique example of phrases uh, who need a f uh, who need another thing to stand in in the grammar or in the syntax of a sentence. Other phrases could be based on a single word and they could stand or those single words could stand alone to make uh, make an overall phrase but here preposition cannot stand alone it has to be coupled with a noun phrase common uses of no uh, prepositional phrases are that they could be used as modifiers or complement in a in a phrase or sentence we could see the examples he is in the class in the class is a prepositional phrase and it is being used as a complement here. He with his friends is playing. With his friends is a prepositional phrase and it is being used as modifier here. Let's move to uh, AP which is uh, a short form of adjective phrase and all those phrases where head word is an adjective they would be called adjective phrases. Uh, the typical examples uh, some of them could be very sensitive, too big, strong enough. They make good adjective phrases in English language. The structure consists of single adject adjective or with a modifier. Let's look look at the examples. He is very tall. He is hard working. Very tall and hard work. Hard working is a, si a single word which is making an adjective. Whereas very tall is a combination of two words uh, in which we also have a modifier and that makes an adjective phrase. Its use is that it acts as a modifier or a complement in a sentence. And the typical examples could be he is very intelligent. Here very intellig intelligent is being used as a complement whereas in another example he is a smart boy. The word smart is being used as a modifier. In the last, I'll talk about adverb phrases. Adverb phrases, as uh, we could see, is the one where head, verb, head word is an adverb. And examples could be very immediately here, etc. Uh, it can consist of, as far as its structure is concerned, it could possibly include a single adverb or with a modifier and some of the uses which this adverb phrase could perform are it could act as a modifier in an adjective phrase or as an adverbial in a sentence and you could see the examples here uh, we were very tired after our climb the word very is being used as adverb phrase here and it is it is it is serving the purpose of modifier here whereas in a, in an in, in the later example which which is at the end you could see she'll be here soon the word soon is being used as an adverb phrase however it is performing the function of an adverbial so there there are various kinds of phrases which are used in the syntax of english language and uh, they are combined with various combination of words and at the same time, they could possibly perform various functions in a sentence. Therefore, uh, the understanding of these uh, phrases, their making and of their functions is very important for learning English language.